air-to-air -air combat has come a long way, from extremely close-range dogfights using machine guns and cannons in both world wars, to aircraft being able to detect and engage enemy targets hundreds of kilometers away. They are able to do this using state-of-the-art radar systems and modern air-to-air -air missiles, out of which a few in particular have become quite well known even to those with little knowledge in the genre. Two famous examples of those are the new Chinese BL-15 and the highly celebrated MBDA Meteor. So what makes these two tick and how do they compare against each other? I'm your host Blitz Falcon and today we are going to discuss the BL-15 versus the Meteor beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile systems. With the recent induction of Rafale by the Indian Air Force, debates have spiked over the effectiveness of the well-known MBDA meteor and Pakistan's answer to it, the Chinese BL-15. However, before we start, we first need to define what BVRM or Beyond Visual Range missiles are and how they operate. At their core, BVRMs are air-to-air -air missiles whose task is to hunt and kill enemy aircraft. The difference between other types and BVRMs lies in range. BVRMs have larger ranges, which allows the jet to engage enemy aircraft beyond visual range, hence the name BVRM. What this means is that you can track and fire at a target from a safe distance, making things very complicated for the opposing enemy. Another thing you should know is how those missiles achieve these long ranges. Conventionally, when a missile is fired, it will burn its engine in the first initial stage to catch the maximum momentum and glide rest of the way towards the assumed location where it thinks the target will be when it gets close. This means that at greater range, the kill probability decreases. This is because the missile loses its kinetic energy and becomes less maneuverable the more it glides along. This is something misrepresented by mass media and movies as missiles are shown to burn all the way towards the target, but this is just not true. Missiles have limited fuel to it, and they typically burn a few seconds at launch. Also, another catch is that throughout its flight, the missile will be needed to be guided by the mothership, and this means that the jet cannot stop tracking the target throughout most of the missile's flight time, even after it has been fired. Now this is where the Meteor and PL-15 breaks all conventions. Now let's look at the Meteor first. The Meteor is an actively guided BVRAM developed by MBDA, which is a joint venture of six European countries, including the UK, France, Italy, Spain, Germany, and Sweden. It is 3.6 meter long in length and has a max speed of Mach 4. It has two-way data link and an onboard terminal phase AESA seeker, which is very reluctant to electronic attacks. It has a realistic max range of 150 kilometers. Meanwhile, in comparison, the BL-15 is an active radar homing BVRAM missile developed and manufactured by the Chinese 606th Institute. The BL-15 in comparison to Meteor is enormous with a size greater than four meter long length and a high end jam resistance terminal phase AESA seeker two-way data link and additionally an IRR seeker as well, something which the Meteor lacks. It is said to have a greater range than the Meteor at max uh, estimated 170 kilometers. To compare the two state-of-the-art BVRM missiles, few imperative but very crucial factors are to be taken and discussed. These crucial factors are the propulsion system, guidance and control section, and lastly range. Now let's look at the propulsion system and see how these two missile systems greatly differ from each other at their core design. The BL-15 uses conventional dual pulse solid fuel rocket motors. Basically it has two motors. Now solid fuel rocket motors are no new thing. They have been around for a long time and how they operate is once ignited they do not stop. They give the missile kinetic energy and momentum to glide all the way to a target and hit. However, this is a problem as the longer the missile flies, the less kinetic energy it has, hence less probability to score a hit. This issue is not present in the BL-15 because remember, it is a dual pulse solid fuel rocket, meaning it has two motors in it. 
the extra fuel is supplemented by its huge size, meaning it can store more fuel for the secondary motor. What this means is once using the primary motor, the missile gets close to its target, it can fire up its secondary motors, giving it more energy to fly towards its target, making the probability of kill higher. Now, let's look at the Meteor. Breaking all conventions, the Meteor is propelled by solid fuel duct ramjet booster motor, which gives it an edge over other conventional rocket-powered missiles, such as AIM-120. This is because those other missiles need to carry MIS fuel and oxidizer, while in contrast, Meteor does not need extra oxidizer. It can use that space for more fuel, meaning it gets far longer range. Additionally, the extra air that gets poured in in its motors gives it more propulsion efficiency, meaning it can burn its missiles far longer than any other missile can, giving it significantly greater range than many other existing platforms. Next comes guidance and control section. As far as the meter is concerned, it employs sophisticated in-flight computer, which in conjunction with the AI radar helps the missile maneuver in reaction to enemy aircraft changing position. What this means is that no matter how the enemy aircraft changes its flight path, the computer systems will tell the missile, the meteor in question, what trajectory it needs to go to be able to hit its target. Additionally, it also has a high-end X-band AESA sensor, which activates in terminal phase. This greatly increases the lethality of missile system. Now, similarly to the Meteor, BL-15 also has very good guidance and control section. It has two-way data link like Meteor, and mid-flight it can prioritize another target, which means during its flight, it can effectively change its target at will, as directed by the pilot. It also features terminal phase AESA seeker to acquire and lock target in terminal phase. Additionally, it has an IR seeker, which means it can seek the target using heat signatures, something that is missing in the meteor, which gives the PL-15 higher kill probability. Now lastly comes the matter of range. Now, full disclaimer, we don't actually know what the max range of both these systems are, as both MBDA and 606 Institute have not fully disclosed what the max ranges of their respective systems are. But using estimation, we can realistically say that the max range of Meteor is around 150 kilometers, while the max range of PL-15 is around 170 kilometers, slightly higher than its counterpart. Now, as mentioned earlier, the Meteor can achieve its high range due to its ramjet propulsion technology, which gives the Meteor ability to constantly propel itself throughout most of its flight. Meanwhile, for PL-15, its size, its sheer size, enables it to carry more fuel. Its dual engines enable it to have more range. That is why it becomes a very potent missile, so much so that General Herbert Kalersin, the head of United States Air Force Air Command, had said, look at our adversaries and what they're developing, things like BL-15 and the range of that damned weapon. Now, after having gone through these parameters, we have a complete picture of the comparison between BL-15 and Meteor. And in this case, the BL-15 emerges to have slight advantages over the Meteor. Meanwhile, we must not forget the Meteor has the ramjet motor up its sleeves. So in our honest opinion, both missiles are neck to neck with each other. Still, nothing can be said with precision yet, as only time will tell and more information will be disclosed over time. Now with all that said and done, I think it is now time we shift to the Q&A session and answer the questions asked by our esteemed followers at PSF. The first question comes from Malik Mateen Muhammad and he asked, what is the air breathing technology in Meteor and what counter technology does PL-15 has? Now to shed a little light on air breathing engines, first we need to explain how they work. Basically such systems operate only when they first reach at supersonic speeds. So this is imperative. They first need 
to burn extra fuel to reach that speed. Only once they have reached that speed can they take in the natural air around it to uh, create a combustion effect by spraying fuel uh, in uh, most cases of air breathing engines. In the case of Meteor, its fuel is mixed with the air that combines, that combusts as it flies in its trajectory, giving it the ability to constantly burn small amount of fuel and use the natural air that gets sucked in, meaning it does not need to have an oxidizer of its own unlike other conventional missiles. What this means is that it can carry more fuel and it can have more effective combustion to have efficient burning and more range. Now how the PL-15 counters this is well by using its sheer size and using two motors. Now it does have a single rocket motor which uses up its fuel once ignited it burns up. That is what one primary motor does to get it up to speed and fire it to give it a trajectory towards the enemy aircraft. What the second motor does is when needed, when the kinetic energy becomes low or when it reaches close to the target, the second motors then fire up, giving it extra kinetic energy and more maneuverability to be able to have greater kill capability. So that is how the PL-15 counters. It basically gets more kinetic energy, more maneuverability by using a secondary motor when it gets close to its target or when it's losing its kinetic energy mid-flight. So using two very different concepts, both missiles are able to uh, fly off far longer ranges. I hope that answered the question. Now moving on to the second question by many of our viewers. One of them was Sayyid Zainul Abidin and this question was also asked by the previous Malik Mateen Muhammad that what is the no escape zone of PL-15 and meteors? Now, as I said before, we don't actually know as no official data was released by both the 606th and uh, MBDA about their ranges or their official no kill zones. We can only estimate. And as we said, the maximum effective range we think for Meteor is 150 kilometers and for the PL-15 is 170 kilometers. Although we would say that the no escape zone is at lower ranges because they has, that is the position where the probability of kill is higher due to more uh, kinetic energy and more maneuverability and availability of more fuel. Now the third and last question is which has more effective defense against uh, jamming or other electronic attacks. Now to answer this, we must first say that that more or less depends on the mothership or the aircraft that fires the missiles and its the systems, its radar, its anti-jamming capabilities, because that is the main thing that initially guides the missile itself. So overall, the effectiveness of the aircraft itself will determine how effective the missile will be able to counter jamming. So in this case, the, the PL-15 and Meteor are both the, we, we would have to say that it's uh, coincidental or it depends on what aircraft is using them. And as far as we know, there is no official information on what uh, subsystems the JF-17 Block 3 will have because that is uh, more or less classified. In the end, I would have to say that the Meteor and PL-15 both go neck and neck and both are very potent systems and only time will tell how the Air Forces, both Pakistan Air Force and Indian Air Force use them in conjunction with their other systems and the overall effectiveness is determined by how the other assets operate in conjunction. In recent Operation Swift Resort, we have been able to see that Pakistan Air Force has been able to use its assets much more effectively and efficiently than its Indian Air Force counterpart has been able to. So we can safely assume that for now, 
the PL15 will have an edge over the uh, meteor in Indian hands. Now then, that concludes the comparison between the PL15 and Meteor Beyond Visual Range missile systems. If you like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Blitz Falcon signing off.